On the Merton Historical Society's website, there are a number of photographs that are of interest that cover the Mitcham area. The Bill Rudd collection, fairly recently added to the website, a collection of photographs taken by William J. Rudd, who spent 50 years exploring the history of Morden and captured on film the changing face of the area over those decades. The Society is delighted to aim to be able to hold this important collection, though it's still facing up to the challenge of sorting, scanning and cataloguing it. Offers of help welcome. So basically, head to the Merton Historical Society website, which is mertonhistoricalsociety.org.uk. Have a look around and see what you can do to help them out. Today I'll be looking at some photographs of the Turner's Bakery in the Fairgreen in Mitcham. Now, as I've said, this collection covers Morden. On the right-hand side, there are other categories. Morden, Morden Shops, St Helier Estate, Abbey Roads, over the parish boundary. Uh -huh. Let's have a look at that. And it says, although Bill's main local interest was in his home parish of Morden, he was not averse from straying across parish boundaries when his attention was caught by an interesting building or a group of buildings or a railway line or station. Good man. His forays into neighbouring Misham highlight two areas of special interest to Bill. His involvement with archaeology and his love of fairgrounds. Okay, let's head over to the Mitcham. It says there are 149 photos in this sub-collection covering the Mitcham area. And the very first ones are of about uh, excavation at Mitcham Grove, which is part of his interest in archaeology. So let's go to the next page. Yep, more archaeology type stuff. And on the third page... Oh, so there excavations at Durham House. That was the old building that was replaced by the current concrete block with Iceland and the Conservative Club. And now we can see some photographs of the fairgrounds. Page four. Excavations. Uh, Goat Public House. So when we go to a page with a photograph, there are options here to see it in different uh, sizes. That's the maximum size. And we've got a, a zoom in option as well. Well, that looks quite neat and tidy, doesn't it? And there's a pub sign with a goat on it. And that's the symbol of the Courage Brewery. Well, it looks quite tidy. Telephone box there, and you can just about see the bus shelter over there. That's the Carl Shorten Road leading back into Mitcham. And this is Tramway Terrace. Yes. Okay, let's back page out of that. Go back to the list. So what I'm looking for is things to do with the Turner's Bakery. And I should stop being distracted by pubs and keep going. To page six. Now, page six has gutteridges. So, a front, uh, front view of the gutteridge. They did an excavation at the back, and here we have gutteridge excavation, Upper Green East, Mitcham Shop, June 1969. Yeah, so they were doing an excavation at the back of this shop. What a shame that was demolished really and replaced by the Barclays Bank building of which we can briefly remind ourselves what it looks like by looking at Google Maps yes well that was a really good replacement wasn't it the Barclays Bank building this is August 2022 on Google Maps so Barclays Bank is closed by them and boarded up and that's the Turner's building so let's go back to where we were just were and there's the AEW Turner Bakery and all right of it as we're looking at it is the South Suburban Cooperative Society and a shop that looks like it's being sold called Babes and Tots number 31 
So let's go back to the to the list and there's a Toyota's horse. This looks like yes. So Turner's bakery delivering of a horse. That's Fig Marsh, isn't it? He said confidently. Am I correct? Not sure. What can we do? There's a horse and cart behind as well. Uh, I'm not sure that speaks much now. In fact, I wonder whether that's the windmill pub. And that's therefore Three Kings Peace. Yep, makes more sense. That was that one. There's another picture of the Turner's horse. If anyone knows which particular horse this was, don't know where this was photographed. And that looks like the same spot, different view. And this time, oh, there's an extra wagon. wonder who that was. See registration. So, there you go. If you're looking for anything to do with Turner's Bakery, the Bill Rudd collection has got some nice photos. And if you've got any more information about them, why not get in contact with the Merton Historical Society and let them know. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like, as they say at the end of videos. Bye.